It's a place I've been wanting to go now for about 15 years. It's a place called Baalbek in the Becca Valley in Lebanon, a massive temple complex with massive 1,000 ton stone blocks. Bottom left there, you can see the size of the person in comparison to the blocks. I've heard crazy theories about this place that it was once used as a landing pad by aliens in the distant past called the Anunnaki. I decided I needed to get myself out there and check it out. This is Bayet Miri. This is about a uh, 45 minutes drive outside of Beirut. And uh, it's now a Catholic uh, monastery and uh, church, but the old wall, which you can see here is megalithic, characterized by these big stone blocks that are fitted together absolutely perfectly with no mortar in between them. You can't fit a sheet of paper between them. They are absolutely horizontally aligned. Really impressive. Back in Beirut, there's uh, an older part of the city in the center, which is being uh, slowly and carefully excavated. There's some signs of some uh, granite columns, probably granite from Aswan. Uh, and also you can see here what looks like the sort of tracks you see in Malta and uh, just above there is Hanan Pasha, Peru style original stonework. Uh, and this is in the same complex as this Roman bars which was obviously built uh, later on. of Baal Bek is coming from Baal. Baal was the god of the rain, the god of the thunder, and we had different attributes to the god Baal. We had Baal Hadad, means Baal of the rain. Baal Shamash, the sun. Baal Sapon, the mountain Sapon. Baal Hermon, the mountain Hermon. And in the Holy Bible, we talk about Baal Zubul, which means devil, and people who worship the god Baal were against the people who believed in one God, the Hebrew. So here we can say that the Semitic people of this area, they decided to build a temple to honorate the God Baal, and they called the place Baalabek, which means Baal's town. Before going to the temples, we will go to see a quarry, and this quarry is called uh, the pregnant woman quarry or uh, the pregnant woman stone in this, in this quarry. But what is important that you will see today the quarry that they took the stones of the base. And because we are interested in the stones, 
and uh, uh, because we have the base of the temple is made from uh, three huge stones, we call it the three stone, that's why it's very important to visit first the quarry and then we go to the temples. Okay? Thank you, that's what we wanted to do. <laughs> Thank you. So you think this was left here because they could, it was so big they couldn't move it? Um, that's a good reason. It could have been the cataclysm like we think it, uh, at uh, Aswan. It could have stopped it. I mean, this could have been something they were going to finish and, and cataclysmic events happened and they stopped. Because they wouldn't, they wouldn't have started it if they couldn't finish it. Exactly. Would they? And there's no doubt that it they could do make this. Sense. It's the same at Aswan. Yeah. They couldn't start with it. There we see natural cracks. We don't see the crack here. Yeah. But it looks like they didn't get to finish undercutting it. Yeah. And the one that left and one in situ is even bigger and they were going to plan to cut a bigger one. Where so is that one? Well, we th right on next to it. Right next to this is one in the ground, in situ. It's thicker than this one, probably 1,500 tons, when I say this one's 1,200 tons. And it's visible? Right, go right around. I'll show it to you. Come okay, on. cool. Let's take a video. Right here. Oh. This is in situ. Oh, goodness, yeah. It's, it's thicker, and it may be heavier. And there may be another one under, underneath it that they were cutting underneath. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They stopped the work. They just stopped the work like it was ended. Cataclysm could be the only thing. This is pre cataclysmic. This is pre cataclysmic. There's no way anymore. Is it? No. The Romans couldn't touch to us. So we're talking, and when we say cataclysm, we're 12, talking. 12,000 years ago is the marker for the cataclysm. Around 11,000. Yeah. We say 12,000. Yeah. So this is pre 12,000 BC. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, and, and that is that's truly psycho cyclopean. Cyclopean is how you describe it. Cyclopean yeah. blocks, exactly right. That's a good term. And the Baalbek Temple is is kind of that way, isn't it? Yes. I think everything. This was the quarry for the site, no doubt. And yeah. They, and they must have had much ancient temples there that the Romans just built on top of, and that's what we'll see. Yeah. They didn't move the trilithons. The trilithons are a thousand ton blocks. Romans came and found the, just like the Inca did, found the remnants of a megalithic civilization just built upon it. Yeah. And the Greeks probably before them. Yeah. And the Phoenicians maybe. That's where Baal comes from, the Phoenicians. Semitic people. Okay, because Susan had noticed this at Aswan. The material in the unfinished obelisk there was not as good as some of the statues we see in Luxor Museum. Right. The, originally, if you notice the test pits, they the went down pits. to find a deeper yes, side. Exactly. That's exactly. what they wanted. Yeah. So this is the end. 
it, it, just like she said at Aswan, the senses are waning, the cataclysm is coming, they're trying to get this done as fast as possible, and yeah. maybe they knew something was going to happen, and they stopped. Mm -hmm. So this is the last that they did. Probably the obelisks they took out before this were magnificent, and they're all gone, probably cataclysm, or Romans chopped them up. The same that we know in, in Kemet, that we don't have any of the big obelisks anymore. Yeah. I mean, the cataclysm took them down. So but this here, is the end of the work. One here. One was taken from here. And yeah. another one under here. And they were going to do another one. They were going to do no, another one. they weren't going to do another one, because look at the quality of the stone. It's crap. But look at the end. No, no, that's the finished. The no, these, are te these are test they're testing the solidness, and here it's no good. And I think it's a, a cataclysm stopped at a right angle. Oh, yeah. It looks like they were pretty sure exactly. they were going to make one. And then this, one is no, this is erosion. This is a result of years of erosion and probably cataclysmic effect makes it so look crappy. They had every intention to use this one, but they were in a hurry. They were in a hurry. We'll have to agree this. the end of the work, Alex. This we'll is like she saw. Yeah. She saw the same thing as one. The quality of cyanite in that unfinished obelisk is nowhere as good as the statues of Ramses in the, in the uh, Luxor Museum. Mm. They would, this is the end of the work. And this is all they had to do left. It was all that was left. So what was on, the ones they took on top are probably pristine ones we'll never yeah. see. So we're fortunate. Well, unless they were the ones that were already in yeah, the walls. The, the temple. In, in the trilithon. In the trilithon, right. Right. Next Those are question. original blocks. How were they planning on moving it? Because they were obviously planning on moving yeah. it. Had to, they had to create it the same as, us, as the commissions did, the anti-gravity, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. They had to create an anti-gravity field to get this up. And that would have been something to do with sound, sound. I think? Sound creates anti-gravity field. This is what we've been working on. This is what Hakim said years ago. Yeah. Sound and water were the key elements. And we have scientists all around the world. It is, again, there's two students that have contacted us from the University of Bristol in, in UK. Oh. One's getting his PhD in engineering. One's got his PhD in physics. They're doing a joint project. Something that sound can, lift stuff, can create anti-gravity field. Mm. When they publish, we'll, we'll push their names and, publish, and promote their work. Awesome. Yes. Physicist and engineer, it's a perfect combination. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Two young boys are really onto it. Yeah. yeah. The mentality of, uh, of uh, normal people is going to cut also horizontal uh -huh. right. levels. Okay? Right. Because according to gravity, and I believe either primitive or uh, high tech machine, they understand gravity. Of course. So according to gravity, this is, will be double or maybe treble weight to move it. Yeah. And it would also I, be yes. sliding, exactly. intending and in that intended. direction. Exactly. Yes. exactly. So I'm saying exactly. it will be double or treble weight. So Hard, if difficult. it's originally 1,000 tons, it's going to be 3,000 tons for the people who are yep. right yeah, yeah. Mm. Even with the high-tech machines or tools, it's still treble uh, weight also. Okay. Uh, and it seemed that they were going deeper. This is the idea I was uh, dis discussing with uh, Robert Chuck that to get this quality as one piece, limestone, especially limestone, because look, this is the limestone, mm -hmm. all cracks. So you must get deeper. So it means that once the mountain was higher, so we lost at least 50 meters from the Absolutely top. Absolutely agree. Yeah, so yeah. we are now in the bottom or minimum on the middle level of the quarry. So the quarry was much higher. And this. Susan said the same thing at Aswan. Mm -hmm. The quality of the unfinished obelisk, she said, was not as good as the statues of Ramses you see in Luxor mm -hmm. Temple. I mean, and you can see that they were going deeper, deeper. For, the, for the quality exactly. stone. Uh -huh. And so this is the end of the work. Mm -hmm. This is the last. This is the, yes. the poorest quality li mm -hmm. limestone that, that what they had originally was better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So imagine that how come these people had the idea to say this location, this spot is going to lead them to this one block. So it means that not only cutting tools, but also they have tools to see, <coughs> yes. to, to figure out, like x-rays or GPR, other, GPS, you know, uh, yeah. Iowa, right. Iowa. Because or the census. Imagine with me <laughs> that they cut half of it and then they find a crack. It right. means they lost, I don't know, days or months or years of doing this, uh, also uh, workers and tools. Okay, So that is leading us to very uh, important uh, opinions or, uh, or uh, ideas that they very civilized. That is not a matter of just hard work. Right. Yeah. Uh, they had uh, trolls or giants doing this. That is not the, the case at all. <laughs> right. No trolls. giants. Yes. Trolls, right. I like what to say trolls. The a mountain, they have a mountain quick. troll. Mm -hmm. Stephen, what do you think about this sort of theory on sound? A sound system, but not only tuned in to the material itself. The frequency of the material. Frequency yeah. of the material. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Tuned in to the required geometry exactly. of the material. And that's why. Mm -hmm. I think no, all programmed in the mind again, yes. all programmed mm -hmm. in the mind. So the, the, the folks that had the capability to have moved this if they okay. wanted to, but didn't, mm -hmm. how long ago would that have been? Okay. Let me tell you our timeline. Yeah. That 10,000 BC, 
till now, it is the beginning of civilization from zero. And then, and let's compare with Egypt, uh, pre-dynastic, dynasties, and then Roman and, and till now, okay? Before 10,000 BC, the cataclysm, it was the top. And when the cataclysm ended, that let's call it first human, maybe not the first, but let's call it the, the one before 10,000 BC. The humans were very civilized, okay? Advanced. Because advanced completely, because the story of, um, I am one of the big, uh, big uh, against uh, the, the story of development, like cavemen, and then, no, 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 I believe that Adam was sent with all the information, all the technology, but not necessarily, when I say technology, it's not cameras and computers, it could be mental technology, okay? Like, I, I want to talk to you, I use my mind. Telepathy. I don't use, yeah, okay. And so many things like this, that they, like, maybe, but I'm not sure, they can lift stones with their power was their brain and don't forget that we don't use almost 70 percent of our brain 80 percent in oh, my case 80 percent So we come from this side to show you the three big stones which made the platform of Jupiter Temple. We call it a Sriliton. So here we can see the first stone, the second and the third to the north. The height of this platform from this side is 13 meters. So here we see a part or the base. On the top it's a modification which comes later from the Arab Muslim time. But the stone still is the same, it's a limestone. Now the history of these blocks that you see go back um, to, into time immemorial. And as a matter of fact, I'll read from a, um, a book written by the curator of the site for 37 years, named Michael Alouf. He says that the tradition states in the, in the town, in the area, in Lebanon, that the fortress at Baalbek is the most ancient building in the world and was built by Cain, son of Adam, mm. in the year 133 of the creation. Going back to the time of Cain? Well, that's pretty th far back. That's what, that's what the tradition says. And, I mean, that's the Adam and Eve, of course, and, I don't believe that. And this. the revisionist historians are, are yeah. going back and say, saying, let's listen to these traditions and give some serious consideration to why these people say these things uh, and not presume that they've just made it up or created a myth for the sake of creating one. Now, this, is this that big, the big... Uh, these, bl these blocks... Block? And the, the, that one's the one... The ones on the very block, top, right? they're known as the trilithon. The and, trilithon? and they weigh over 1,100 tons. So wow. the remarkable anomaly is that how these could have been 1, moved... 1,100 tons, one block? Precisely. You can see how precise they're mounted ah! there. Look at that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's amazing.
in the bus, in the bus, we talked about the historical part of Baalbek, but now we will talk about the ritual. What did these people inside this temple? So we are concentrating the history of Baalbek during the Roman time, because it was the largest Roman temple in all the Roman Empire. So this is a Jupiter temple. The temple is divided in different parts. We have the Propylaea, the hexagonal courtyard, the great courtyard, and the temple itself. In front of the Propylaea, we have semicircular benches. So it was here in this area. People will wait when the priest and the procession are ready. They will start the ceremony by the Propylaea. As the name said, the entrance before the doors. And if you look to the main entrance, you can see that you have two towers. We have 12 granite columns and we have a staircase partially restored to give an idea that the, uh, that the complex or the temple was a fortress before the restoration. So we will go up and we will start the visit from the Propylaea. Today, of course, it's not a Beautiful. Yeah. Well, just feel it. Feel the transition from here to there. And then go this way. That's like a machine, machine finish. Oh, man. We had four granite columns coming from Aswan. You can imagine the quantity of this type of stone here in Baalbek coming all this uh, granite from Aswan from Egypt. So uh, it seems that it was not uh, difficult, so difficult to bring these columns to Baalbek. Yes, same, as, I see it. same as the uh, the granite diorite. I think they're coming from slightly different places yes, in the quarry. Yes. And the granite diorite, I don't think, comes from Egypt. And this stuff, I think, it does. It's not quartz. It's not quartz. Feldspar. No, it's feldspar. It shines like that. Well, of course. See why she spends hours working stone and magnification. You get hooked on it. It's beautiful to look at. It's so smooth. Perfect dark. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got that green. It's got that green tinge. This is what too. this is what Chris Dunn says can only be yeah, done by machine because it's a perfect arc. Hmm. You can see that we have an altar, we have a tower behind, we have two columns and we have two basins. The priest will go directly to the basin, he will purify the animal and after the purification he will go up to the altar where the people taking picture there. And of course uh, when he kills the animal with a sacred knife, people will start to go up the tower and down. They will participate in the sacrifice. It looks like each person is offering a sacrifice aside. The priest here is not God. He is not replacing God. He is a mortal who is putting order to the ritual. This is a typically Roman sacrifice. But if you look to the plan, you can see that you have two columns. The first one, uh, it's pink. it has a pink color, represents uh, the fire. And the second one, gray color, represents the wind. And these columns remind us Solomon Temple, uh, built by the Canaanite people, or Phoenicians, or uh, 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 Canaanites, or Semitic people. And we can say that in the ancient time, we had the gods. The gods created the semi-gods, and the semi-gods created the giants. The giants hold Mount Libanus, and they fix it here. They hold anti-Libanus and they put it in front. So the first man who sailed was called Isus. He discovered a small island. To honor the gods who learned him how he can make fire, he puts a column representing the fire, which has a pink color. And another column represents wind, because he needs wind to sail. So this is Boaz and Yakin in, in Solomon Temple. This is the balance of the universe. So for the locals of Baalbek, when they go inside this temple, they are looking to Baal, but for the Romans, they are looking to Jupiter, which means that Baal and Jupiter 
same God. So our God is your God. So there is no difference between us. In that way, Rome will fix her authority in this area. And of course, they will live peacefully, if we can say. I think the Romans, because it's, it's peace, the columns are in pieces. They're not solid, solid blocks. Solid thing, solid. But this, 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 this is not. This is ancient commission. This is a pyramid structure. 